Okay, so press cycle again to come out USB mode. Now it's the game again. Then the memory stick. Then run, run that one. Press X again. Now as you saw, it looks the same as the 3.52 update 2. So don't confuse the two. Shouldn't do it if you delete it anyway. Now we'll say this. 3.52 M33 update. Press X to do the update, so press X. Update successful. Press X to shut down the PSP. Press X and it'll shut down your PSP. So now you need to um, turn it on manually, so press the switch up. Turn it on. Quickly got over system information again. So you can see it's now 3.52 M333. So now Go back to USB connection. And now we need to install. Now we can install 3.9. Okay, just as before, you can delete the M33 update folder in the Game 150 folder on your PSP. So delete that. Okay, now we can go back to the website, back to the first link again. You need to go to the 3.9. There we are, PSP Custom Firmware 3.9 M33, click on that, scroll down, click download, ok, open with WinRAS again, doesn't take long at all, click close, now, double click on the README, and this will have um, instructions on it as well. Right, the first instruction is to copy the update folder into the PSP game folder. So go to the PSP game folder, back up from the game 150 folder and go to the game folder. So we need to copy the update folder into there. So go into the archive and copy the update folder into the archive, I meaning into the game folder. There it is. Now go back to the set instructions. Get the 3.9 Sony update from somewhere and put it in the same folder with the name 390.pbp. So you go back to the website, back up, and again. Actually, you won't be able to do this. You'll have to go to the second link this time, which will take you to the official PSP firmware updates. You need to scroll down. So the 3.9x link, click on that. Scroll down this page and click on the 3.9 firmware update. And click on download. Open with WinRAR again. Now this is another big one, so I will pause the video at this moment so that it won't take too long for you. Ok, the download is nearly done now. There we go. Now what you need to do is you can open the temporary folder that we made earlier. Let's drag it in there for now. And we need to rename it 390.pbp. And now what you need to do, you can close that because we've used it now. Let's go into the game folder again. And then go into the update folder and drag it into there, the 390.pbp file. Just copy it into there. OK, now you can see it's done there. And now we can go to the next instruction. And the next instruction is to run it. The update will be done by Sony Updater. So we can go to our PSP. OK, so press circle again to come out of USB mode. And go to game. Memory stick. And then PSP update version 3.9. Now this does look like an official firmware update, but it isn't because you can tell by the 3.90 M33 update um, right writing here. So just press X on that. Load it.
going to say unpacking and done. Please wait. Verifying 390.pbp. So for that we drag it over. I'm going to say press X to start the update or R to exit. So press the X button. So starting SCE updater. Wait. Now this will look like an official firmware update, but it isn't. It is actually updating it to the M33 version. See, so press start. No, actually press X on start. It will show you a user agreement. Just press right on the D-pad, and then go down to accept. Press accept by pressing X, and it will show you what the update includes. Just press right again. It will say do not turn off the power, disconnect the AC adapter or remove the memory stick during update. So press X to enter again. And now it will install the update. And it says do not turn off the power, disconnect the AC adapter or remove the memory stick. Once this is finished, we can install the final part of the um, thing, which is the update 2 for 3.9. When you go back into USB mode, go into the PSP game folder again and you can delete the update folder since you've already updated. And then what you can do is you can go back to the website and go back to link 1. Which is custom firmwares. You can scroll down. The first li first link at the top is the 3.9 M332 update, which is the final one, which is what we want to download now. So click on that. Scroll down again. And click on download. Now click on open with WinRAR again. Click close. And now what you want to do is you want to copy the update folder into the PSP folder, PSP game folder, sorry. So do that. And now you're ready to update your PSP to 3.90 M33 update 2. Now you can come out of USB mode by pressing circle again. And you need to go to game again, memory stick and then it will show you PSP version 3.9 update it will show you three M332 on the red writing there so press X and it will show you it will say the 3.9 M332 installer so press X to install That's it. Now it's re it'll re automatically restart in six seconds. And that's it. Now you can just to show you, go to system settings, system information. And there you go. It is now 3.9 M332. And that is the end of the video. And now you can install lots of other homebrew if you if you like i recommend installing the 1.5 kernel add-on version 2 for 3.9 m33 because that will allow you to run more homebrew which is not compatible with this version um, homebrew which is only compatible with 1.5 and so that's the end of the video if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask as usual so that is the end of the um, tutorial on how to install 3.9 m32 and thank you for thank you for watching